Hi, my name is Mike, and uh, I own uh, Mike's Carburetor Parts. Uh, you can find my website uh, just by Googling Mike's Carburetor Parts. I should come up at the top, and uh, uh, on my website you'll find parts for most any carburetor, uh, at, as far as vehicles, marine, and industrial. At any rate, uh, I'm doing a series of videos on rebuilding a uh, Quadrajet Marine four-barrel carburetor. And um, I've got it cleaned up. I do ultrasonic cleaning. And uh, it, it, so I'm going to start with the uh, float bowl here. And uh, one thing about ultrasonic cleaning, uh, most people don't have access to it, but uh, it's real good about cleaning uh, the, the small passages that you can't get to, uh, such as these here. And since I'm on the subject, uh, I just use a little wire after I clean, just to run down them. Uh, don't get wild with this because you don't want to uh, change the size of the openings. But these in particular down here, you want to be, they're so little, uh, be sure that they're open and there's no, uh, nothing in them. Now, um, of course, I blow out every passage carefully, two or three times, to make sure there's nothing in it, make sure it's all clean. Uh, let's see, the other thing, the next thing you want to do is uh, turn this thing over and, uh, you know, these days most carburetors have been taken care of, but these things uh, tend to leak here. I'm going to find a little pointer. Uh, these uh, quadrajets leak here into, uh, and it, what it happens is it can leak fuel into your engine and uh, it acts like it's flooding, um, you know, or you just get poor fuel mileage, just no, nothing else. Um, anyhow, these uh, right here are for your secondary uh, passages, and these right here are your primary passages. And um, to check to see if yours is leaking, put a little uh, soapy water on the top, and uh, like simple green or something like that, and you take your air gun, and uh, stick it in the bottom you, you, in your uh, in your jets, your secondary jets and your primary jets, and blow up and see if you get any bubbles from it. If you get any bubbles, it's leaking. And whether it's leaking or not, I make sure now that this one I checked, it's okay. Somebody's already treated it, so I won't have to d deal with it. But uh, what you do here is, is I buff these up a little bit with the kind of scratch them up so the stuff sticks. Some people suggest you drill out and put a screw in it and all that. I've had a lot of trouble with that, so I just I, I just do it this way. Scuff it up a little bit and use JB Weld. Let it sit uh, for about 24 hours. Let it harden up, and uh, that'll take care of, of this little problem. And uh, so there you go on that. Um, let's see, anything I else I want to mention before I get going here? I got my kit out here. We're going to put a... Uh, um, ethanol ready accelerator pump in it and we got our uh, uh, needle and seat here and uh, let's see so I'm, I'm getting all ready I got my uh, adjustment data sheet here and uh, this is pretty helpful here this instruction sheet uh, some tips about cleaning and uh, reassembly stuff special instructions uh, for example, uh, your idle adjusting needles, uh, when you're done here, you, you turn each needle in the seat lightly and then back out three or four turns. Uh, remember that because uh, a lot of carburetors, everybody's uh, used to one and a half turns where this one's three and four turns. Anyway, I, I'm kind of rambling now, so I'm going to turn this off and uh, uh, get my small parts ready to assemble this float bowl and uh, we'll start on our next video. Thank you.